All right, we are now joined by Treeport Mayor Adrian Perkins to tell us a little bit more about the importance of the game to our community and the Port City Fest. Oh, good morning, Mayor Perkins. Thanks for being here. This is one of the biggest events, if not the biggest only event we've seen since COVID has hit uh, the Arklatex. How important is Port City Fest to the city? Good morning, Adria and Dominique. This is extremely important for our city. We know that we have been in a bit of an economic hole over the last year due to the pandemic. So the fact that we have such a large game that not only our citizens can attend, but we have citizens from around our region uh, that will be coming into town and around the country that will be watching our city. Uh, it means a lot to us and it's, it really shows that we're on the road to recovery. Yeah, Mayor Perkins, I was so excited to hear that Bayou Classic, mm -hmm. when the game was moved to Shreveport, this is a time for our area to really, really shine and roll out the welcome mat for all of our visitors. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. And I got to tell you, I have been working on this game for <laughs> such a long time uh, prior to the actual announcement. So to actually land the game was huge for us. Yeah. And you know, in 2021, I I've been calling it our rejuvenation year because not only do we have this game, but we got a lot of things in store, but to have this game is that first big step, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on our road to recovery is, is huge for our area, not just economically, but symbolically as well. What's the likelihood of bringing the Bayou Classic back to Shreveport permanently? <laughs> <laughs> we I, I'm to not going to talk about that because uh, I'm not hmm. going to talk about that because the mayor of New Orleans probably uh, come <laughs> after me and, and so will several other people from down south. But we're working with both schools actually to, to get them here on a more regular basis. I don't know if we'll get the classic, uh, but we should see a lot more of Southern and Grambling in our city uh, and a lot more frequent injections into our economy as well. That's excellent, Good you know, here. because we have a lot of mm -hmm. Southernites and Gremlinites here in North Louisiana. Can you tell us anything uh, that may highlight or what we need to look forward to with Port City Fest? Yeah, absolutely. Things kicked off yesterday and I attended about four or five events and I can tell you if that's any indication on what the weekend is going to be like, we're in for an amazing weekend. Uh, today, the African American Chamber is hosting, continuing to host the expo at the convention. Center, uh, myself, along with the mayor of Jackson, Mississippi, and Montgomery, Alabama, and several legislators were doing a political discussion. Uh, unfortunately, the rain canceled my golf tournament this morning, but mm -hmm. we're committing those proceeds to uh, scholarships for both universities. And obviously, we got the game and so much entertainment at Festival Plaza, you name it, around the city. So it is a lot to do for everybody. So just get online, go to uh, my, you know, portcityfest.com or my Bayou Classic and look at all the events. There's going to be plenty for everybody to do. So is this the first of many things that could be coming as far as fun events and celebrations we could be seeing now in 2021 across the city? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I tell everybody I have been the, the COVID czar throughout the city. I've been telling you to stay at home, telling you to stay away from people. And now as the vaccines are rolling out, I'm telling people now, hey, it's kind of safe to get out and for us to start convening again. But we got to continue to be safe as well. So CDC guidelines will be adhered throughout the weekend. But again, this is one step to no one step towards normalcy for everybody. And so Shreveport can not only bounce back, but we can bounce back stronger. Yeah, I love it. Uh, we're going to put on our boxing gloves with you, Mayor, and go down <laughs> to New Orleans and talk to the mayor. <laughs> and we'll work Good. on I that. I need the whole city with me. I need <laughs> the whole city with me. Yeah. It's got to be a tough yeah, pull for I, Mayor I, Cantrell to give that yeah, up. <laughs> you know what? We, we can make it happen. We're Shreveport, right? Thank you so yeah. much, uh, Mayor Perkins, for being here. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is excellent. I, I, I wish that it would stay here, Me but too. yeah, it's got to be a hard pull. To I know. Get it you know, maybe we could do New it Orleans. every other year or something, you yeah. know, New Orleans yes. and then Shreveport. I, I am thankful that it came this year, Me though. Um, it's really, really uh, brought some excitement uh, in this whole pandemic as we kind of move, hopefully, out of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. It's it's good to see that people are starting to enjoy outdoors mm. again. And, and it's almost as if it's perfect timing. Yeah. You know, had this been a couple of months earlier, yeah. I don't think it would have been near yeah. as successful because people are getting vaccinated. They're feeling a little bit mm -hmm. more comfortable being in public. So I think I think it is perfect. Timing yeah, for sure.